In this video, we are going to solve one more gate problem related to stability analysis. That means second case in special cases of Rao theory. So, we got a problem on special cases. So, on Rao theory, we discussed two cases in special cases of Rao theory when we are discussing related to Rao theory. So, you can observe that video also case 1. So, on case 1 we got this problem in gate for 2 marks in 2004. You can observe the problem here for the polynomial P of S is equal to S power 5 plus S power 4 plus 2 S cube plus 2 S square plus 3 S plus 15. The number of roots which lie in the right half of S plane is. What is the meaning of lying the roots in the right half of S plane? Nothing but system is said to be unstable. Indirectly they are asking whether the system is stable or not. If the system is unstable, how many roots cause that unstability? So that means how many roots are there in the right half of S plane to make the system unstable they are asking. So, generally any problem re related to stability analysis we need to go for Rao theory that is the best way and here to write down the Rao theory we require characteristic equation they directly given characteristic equation from that characteristic equation I am going to draw my Rao theory when I am going to draw Rao theory I am going to consider the line and here I am going to consider my s powers from maximum s to minimum s. So, maximum s is s power 5, s power 4 in descending order you need to consider like this s cube, s square, s and s power 0. Now, the first two rows of your router a can be filled by the coefficients of the characteristic equation. That characteristic equation coefficients are like this 1, 1. 2, 2, you need to fill like this A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 like that 1, 1, so 2, 2 and 3, 15 coefficients are over then you can close your router in. To get the value here you need to multiply this value minus this value divided by 1, 1 into 2 minus 1 into 2 divided by 1, so 1 into 2 minus 1 into 2 means you are going to get 0. So, here to get this value first two column elements with cross two column elements. So, that means 1 into 3, 3 minus 1 into 15. So, 3 minus 15 by 1, 3 minus 15 means it is minus 12. And here to get this value there is no cross sets that is why just consider 0. So, here is the problem. So, this is the special case 1 in row theory. Whenever any starting row element is equivalent to 0, at least one of that row element is non-zero. So, here at least one row element is non-zero and starting row element is 0. This is case 1. Here also we are going to get the problem in row theory. Why? Because in next you are writing so, 0 into 2 minus 1 into minus 12 divided by 0 will come. That means infinity will come in router A. That is the problem. So, to take out this problem, the solution for this type of case 1 problems is to substitute 1 by z in place of s. Substitute z inverse or 1 by z in place of s. So, that means, so in place of s, solution for this is solution is let s is equal to 1 by z and rewrite the characteristic equation and you just form this row array again. So, I am just writing that so 1 by z whole power 5 plus 1 by z whole power 4 plus 2 into 1 by z whole cube plus 3 into 1 by z plus 15. So, this is the characteristic equation. I rewritten re re with s is equal to 1 by z. So, if I cross multiplied all the denominators, then I am going to get 15 z power 5 plus 3 z power 4 plus 2 z cube and here plus z 
square. So here I am going to get you can see z power 5 15 z power 5 we missed z square term here I am having 2 z square. So in this I missed this term you can see when I am substituting 1 by z whole power 5 1 by z whole power 4 2 into 1 by z whole cube 2 into 1 by z whole square plus 3 into 1 by z plus 15. So like this we need to write and after that you can see if I cross multiply this z to that side 15 maximum power will come from that side. So 15 z power 5 plus 3 z power 4 plus 2 z cube plus 2 z square plus here I am going to get z and finally I am going to get plus 1. So, from that side coefficients will come from that side with maximum z power. z power 5 and z power 4 already z is there z power 4 3 z power 4 2 z cube and 2 z square and z plus 1 this will be equivalent to 0 this the modified characteristic equation to take out this problem. So, now again you need to form your Routh array in terms of z. In terms of z means z power 5, z power 4, z cube, z square, z and z power 0. Always z power 0 term is constant that we will write later and here how we will fill quotients means again in the same way. So, 15, 3 and 2, 2 and 1 1 so this is over now 3 into 2 6 minus 30 so here 6 minus 30 divided by 3 how much you will get means so 6 minus 30 or you can take common of 3 from here you can see 6 minus 30 by 3 I am taking common of 3 means I can write this as 2 minus 10 so 3 3 will be cancelled so 2 minus 10 will be is equivalent to minus 8 so this will be is equivalent to minus 8 so here to get this value so to get this value 3 into 2 6 minus 30 divided by 3 I got minus 8 to get this value so we need to evaluate this set with this set 3 into 1 minus 15 into 1 divided by 3 so, 3 into 1 minus 15 into 1 means 15 divided by 3. So, 3 minus 15 means minus 12. Minus 12 divided by 3. So, minus 4. The value here is minus 4. To get this value, there is no cross set. You just consider 0. Now, to get this value. So, minus 8 into 2. So, that means minus 16. minus 3 into 4 3 into 4 means it is minus 12 divided by minus 8. So, 8 into 2 minus 8 into 2 minus 3 into minus 4 divided by minus 8. So, you just evaluate this. So, minus 6 plus 12. So, that is equivalent to minus 4. Minus 4 divided by minus 8. So, that is plus 1 by 2. So, this is equivalent to plus 1 by 2. Coming to this value. So, this set with this cross set. So, minus 8 into 1. So, minus 8 into 1 minus 3 into 0. So, minus 3 into 0 means minus 8 minus 0 divided by minus 8. Minus 8 divided by minus 8 you are going to get 1. To get this value there is no cross set just consider 0. Finally, the left line is this. So, to get this value again 1 by 2 into minus 4. So, that is minus 2 minus minus 8 into 1 minus 8 minus of minus plus 8 divided by 1 by 2. So, 8 minus 2 8 minus 2 is 8 minus 2 6 
6 divided by 2 means so you are going to get 12 here so you are going to get 12 here to get this value you need to calculate this set and this set if you multiply it with zeros you are going to get 0 here also you are going to get 0 z power 0 is always constant term in the characteristic equation so you just consider 1 so this is the route array for case 1 if you observe the first column of this route array one of the element is negative so how we can say a system is unstable when any one of the first column element in route array is negative then we can say the system is unstable system we can say the system is not stable system how many roots are in the right half of s plane to make the system unstable means the number of sign changes will give that idea of the number of poles or roots which are in the right half of s plane if you observe so here the sign changes plus to minus this is one pole and minus to plus so this is second pole so totally two poles will be in the right half of s plane to make the system unstable by this analysis we came to know that two poles are there in the right half of s plane to make the system unstable so b will be the right option for this problem and this problem will comes under case one of special cases in row theory so that means any first row element is zero so at least one non-zero element in the entire row so this is the first case in special cases of row theory